back-to-back -back episodes of self-contained life lesson stories. The one before was all about how humans are innately trash and there's more than just black and white, good or bad of, you know, how people should be perceived and Sensei teaching us that. And the most recent one was how to how to starve an orphanage by deporting a crippled immigrant. Amazing story, Sensei. Wonder what we're gonna do today. Let's begin today's reaction. Demon Lord Castle. Sachan. She's singing. <laughs> More wine glass, Demon Lord guy. This guy's probably the leader. No can kitakai. Gurun say at the spiny what tayoda. Kaibara. Two dudes from their faction struggling. Sasuna doaf no kenjo yoruksha. Okay. There's an ally helping the dwarves. Here we go. Damn. Right, right, right. This is the alcoholic priest, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we're at war right now. Dwarven kingdom under attack. There's a siege happening. They have a wizard of something, like an ally that's, you know, preventing the dwarf fortress from being taken down. But I remember these two. He's a commander? Oh, misery! <laughs> Is he actually a genius strategist? Doran's pretty strong. Dude, the king is out there fighting on the front lines? I think he is a genius strategist. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> the, the strategy is them to run and then all the lizard people are just, just standing. They, they all just huddled up and they're all just standing. Genie strategist my ass, bro. <laughs> you, you, these lizards are dumb as fuck. They're just high. They just, maybe the magic, you know, pulls them in. Yeah, yeah. Let, let's give the benefit of the doubt that like this dude made them all run to this position where there was like some sort of traps, some sort of like magic that like prevents them from like going out. They're all grouped together. It's like an AOE vacuum. Sure, sure, sure. Damn. Alright, the Fallen Angel of Misery runs away. I thought that the Fallen Angels would all be associated with like a specific seven deadly sin because we had gluttony last time, but misery, huh? Alright. Okay. <laughs> Wait, why is Sensei here? Wait, Sensei was here the entire time? <laughs> I'm gonna assume Sensei is excited here. Therefore, his HP is super high and is not dying. そもそも盾医者問題は教訓にしてやっていることによっつこる感謝の一つもあるべきだそうだそうだいいぞ我らこれの母性の悪口はその辺に人いたよいやつの犬だもいろいろ大変なのさま友は俺たちは自力でも
So, like, what was happening? Was Sensei just there in the middle of the lizard circle? Like, were we here this entire time and Sensei was just walking about? Like, how did that happen? <laughs> he could have died instead. Living is suffering. <laughs> We're gonna get a new bed, bro. It's like Sensei just. Annette's just. Devotion for Sensei is crazy. Sensei's gonna get a new whip. Oh! Yo! Familiars! Yo! Is our boy gonna get a girlfriend? <laughs> Look at the eyelashes, bro. Oh my god. <laughs> Meadows, get in there, bro. Meadows, shoot your shot. Let's go. How dare you not kill me, man? I guess thank you. Hmm. Is, is this L Riz or Dub Riz? He just, Mills is just spinning around. I'm not sure if she's interested. I don't think it's working right now. Hmm. <laughs> Did she? I... No. Vol... Vol... What was her name? Volifier? Volidare. Vol... Vol... Valier. Vol... Voli... Voli... Vol... Voli... That's a League of Legends character. Vol... Demon... Demon Lord's daughter. He's the one... She's the one that killed it. Remember, Pope is probably evil. I do not trust that Pope. Okay. <laughs> Melos, it's not working, bro. She does not care about you, man. I'm. S it's already over. <sighs> Sad. <laughs> no. <laughs> Melo. No, no, no. Um, I foresee a moment where. Wolf is being very cocky, right? I think that his cockiness will result him in putting in danger and Sensei will save. But not only will Sensei save Wolf, I believe Melos will save her. And in that moment, she will then show affection to us. That is the game plan. <laughs> His pride is going to be a downfall, man. Oh. oh, he's the Wizard of Storms I was talking about in the earlier scene. Okay. He is one of the strongest wizards in the world. I feel like his pride is going to be his downfall, though. <laughs> Yo, Kairi. まさか君が撤退を余儀なくされるとはね。これを撃って出る。ボンバーケン。二度と遅れを取ることはない。What I have never seen this shit glow before for Sensei, but for her, it glows. Lightning strikes down. We see a dragon. 
Does she have the power to tame dragons? Is this dragon related to Valdelia somehow? I'm not really sure. Is this the demon lord in the dragon form? Yeah, I, I, sorry, the, the previous demon lord, right? Like that got defeated, but did they like somehow just resurrect this demon dragon form? I don't know, but this glow is interesting. The glowing of the red band. It's, it's gotta be her power, right? It's that girl, the one. Greed. Greed just looks like a regular school girl, huh? I think that she has just like a regular school girl outfit too. It looks like it. And based on her proximity with like the dragon and like the purple ship, maybe this is her power. And Sachan isn't the one doing it. It's probably her instead. Paper fold? Origami? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Sensei should write a book about Melos getting cucked and the tragedy will be like, Oh, Melos, I see. So you have El Riz and you got rejected from the pretty familiar. Yeah. Is it? <laughs> Greatest as in like... What befits him? Sensei loves tragedy. So yeah, it's a one-sided love is the greatest if you're talking about how much it fucking sucks. <laughs> Poor Melos. The love. Now, I don't think Sensei and Sachan were one-sided loves, right? We don't really, I don't really know anything about them other than they just try to die together. It seemed like they were in love with each other, so the one-sided love probably shouldn't apply to Sensei, right? Are they? True. <laughs> did he like it? No, he did not like it. We said, should we call her Femme Melos? And he was like, no, no. Oh, you like it. Huh? This gaslit him. <laughs> oh, ladies. <laughs> I love how cocky she looks too. Like, Wolf is walking away with like a face of like confidence. It's like, yeah, I am hot, aren't I? Yep, come on, come on, praise me more. And then Fem Mellows too also is like, mm hmm, that's right, ladies. What's up? <laughs> Poor Meadows. A man simply ought to pursue a woman until she looks his way. That could be interpreted in a lot of weird ways. Basically say, don't give up, just keep trying until she eventually looks at you in disgust and say, stop following me? <laughs> what are you saying? We are following <laughs> We're straight up just following them, bro. If this was an actual girl on the street that's walking home at night, and then you think that you chasing after her is Riz, listen. <laughs> She's about to call the cops. Oh, where are they going? Home? Oh. Who's in there? Interesting. What? There's a girl that he actually likes. <laughs> that is a death like if I've ever seen one. <laughs> Next time what? If I come back, I'll marry you or some shit? I don't know, but there is somebody in here that is his beloved. And the death lag's being set up. I don't like it. Okay, enough talking. Sensei is respectable in that way.
私たちも覚悟。Hold up, hold up, hold up. Let's see the scene again. Was there anything that hinted that this is a girl? No, right? Now she won't see me again. She won't see me again. Okay, 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 okay. I was gonna have a schizo theory that he's in love with like a dwarf and it would have been like one of these dudes or some shit. Like, I thought it was going some sort of gag comedy route or he has like a gay love for like a dwarf. And I was like, oh, that would have been fucking out of nowhere, huh? But no, that's not what's happening. Alright, Mr. King. But they're not sending misery, right? Greed is coming. Uh oh, Regulus is about to come here and topple this empire. <laughs> Uh-oh, the dragon, bro, the dragon. But she's a dragon king. <laughs> the boss theme, bro. Damn. So I guess greed is able to just like control the dragons. I mean, we see these like purple bindings all throughout the dragon, right? The CGI dragon right now, the breath attack was pretty cool. I do love these kind of breath attacks where it just shows you the sheer scale of the devastation by like a long range, just like mowing down the field. But afterwards, we didn't really get to see like a huge corpses i don't know i would have loved to see just like the sheer death devastation just like showing the impact of the wave just to see this afterwards is kind of meh but this section is interesting because the cgi is well blended in look uh oh. That's a schoolgirl. Way too prideful. Way too arrogant, bro. Does she remind you of your lover? Because that reaction seemed very genuine and personal. Hinting that it, there's a connection to that girl that he visited but got rejected from? <gasps> or, or, I mean the whole role of the priest is to give the powers to the other worlders, right? But maybe he gave her the powers, you know? These aren't random people. These are other worlders that's doing gifted powers. So maybe he remembers her from there and be like, holy shit, hold on. You, I gave the powers to. You're doing this shit now? Well, he doesn't give them the powers, but he kind of like mediates the process, right? <gasps> Master? The eyes, man. Scary. Master. Unseen hands. Oh, it's unseen hand and it saps the energy away from you. That's powerful. Oh. We're cooked. Our strongest warrior is gone. I don't know what the hell that was all about. Master though. But I thought maybe she did train her too in the past. They're like all magicians, right? She had like purple hands. I'm assuming that's that has to do with like her actual isekai overpower. But okay, he's taken away. What do we do now? Go after him? He's been taken to the... How far did he get taken? I don't know. 
おそらくドリッテン聖堂へ向かったのだろうだと呼んでいた一体何者なんだデブヒストリーあの花たるに頼り切っていた月が回ってきおったわいや Honestly, they've been getting hard carried by Wolf. They now need to get hard carried by Tama, Annette, and Sensei. <laughs> I love how we're in the middle of a fucking war and we should be caring about that. But Sensei's more just like paying attention to Melos. It might be your chance, bro. Bet Melos is down and cry. Go offer some support. What should a man do when he sees a woman cry? Walk away. Bitch, I ain't fucking helping you. Skill issue. Be better. No, I'm a fucking meanie. That's very mean. But if I go there and help her, it's like me taking advantage of a vulnerable girl. If you go in with the intent of seducing a girl that's fucking down on her luck, and because Melis is down bad for her, Kinda seems that way, you know? I'm just gonna walk away because I'm a fucking sociopath, but Melos, what you gonna do? Assure her. <laughs> oh, Melos is determined. He ran away. It's <laughs> just like me. <laughs> so he's not gonna go there and be like a white knight cringe lord and like console her. We'll simply save Wolf. Yeah. Who was in that house? Who's that girl? Good call. Who is this? It's an old lady? Old dwarf? I don't get it. I was assuming that it was going to be his lover. But does it make sense that his lover would be almost like a granny? Maybe this is a person that was like his guardian? I don't think there needs to be anything romantic intent, right? We're misled with the romantic intent. It could simply be someone that took care of him, some sort of guardian, right? Yeah, guardian doesn't imply she gave birth to him. The OP powers, right? The That's kind of interesting, huh? So it does seem like a student. What was the, the place of my youth? A memorable place for us both. This temple is where she gets... This temple is where... Priests are just kind of chilling, and then other worlders are dropped off by Trakkun and given a gift, right? That's what the connection is here with the temple, right? At least I think it is. Oh, Femmelos is crying. Ah. Yuriko must have been like his... Like, student? That for some reason just like ran away or something, and then something bad happened, and then he started to stop taking students in, and started to drinking. That's what it seems like it's happening. Most likely. Is this is still on a side quest. You're not competing. Annette, you're not competing with the Baba here, okay? Chill the fuck out, Annette. <laughs> Do adults care not through their with bro? Dude, the, the fucking everyone has jumped to conclusions. I mean, we jumped to conclusions too in the beginning. 
immediately before this she says oh my god this must be god's message it's god's will that we're here sensei walks in with the baba there is no god <laughs> News drip. Okay. That's right. Dwarves are always good with crafting. Is he just gonna like carry her for the entire time? I guess she might be sick and like kind of weak body, so she can't really walk properly. I want Sensei to have like a coffin with wheels. Basically the coffin, but it's a car. Dwarf engineering, surely they can make it happen, right? That dwarf honor and pride. That's right. We need a mode of transport. Do we is a coffin car actually coming? <laughs> They're back. They're actually fucking back from last episode. The Scorpions, bro. The Scorpion Delinquent Gang is gonna be our fucking car. <laughs> no, 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 no. No, no. I mean, his, his is fucking back. It says bus, bro. He's here with the bus for us. Come on, let's get on the bus. Bus? <laughs> Ultimate redemption. Ultimate redemption, bro. Look at that shit. He now has a bus company by day. And then he's the one protecting the orphanage at night instead of the werewolf guy. Probably bringing us food too. How nice. Big car. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I was wondering how the fuck did they have those scorpions have like a fucking motorcycle handle like what are they doing this makes sense i never knew his power so whatever he touches lucifer's hammer <laughs> it turns into a vehicle that's, that's it sounds kind of useless and stupid but it's pretty useful even changes the signs <laughs> That's the piece Chavez. There's multiple scorpions that died. That kick, bro. Bye. Alright, two six not coming away. So uh now what? <laughs> yeah, this guy was here the entire time. The dwarf king is like, what the hell just happened? What did I just witness? Bye. <laughs> Coffin fragment. We need a car. Mm. Baba. Mulus. But how? We're gonna literally carry her across the desert? No, there's gotta be a different mode of transportation, right? I hope that it's gonna be like a coffin car or something, but that's today's episode, man. We're back with the main plot. But it's also funny how the scorpion guy from last episode, who I wouldn't think that we would see again, just showed up and is now a mode of transport. Amazing. What's happening right now? We're at a different area where dwarves reign supreme and we're being under attack by the fallen angels. They sent Misery out here, but Misery, kind of a loser, man. Wolf is just out here. Magic, OP, just taking them out. But as soon as Greed showed up, everything changed. There's a personal connection with Greed and a wolf. Looking like a sensei and a student relationship. 
But we also know that Isekai characters are transported here at these temples, right? And I'm sure he was the one that oversaw her. And he used to always train people too. Until something happened and now he's just an alcoholic. She must be the reason for that. I wonder exactly what went wrong here. And I wonder what the relationship between Wolf and the Granny is too. There's no way that this is like a past lover. It doesn't make sense. Or maybe it does and Wolf is super old, right? Think about it. Elves are super old, right? So we're here jumping to the conclusion thinking that this granny cannot be a love interest for Wolf simply because of the appearance. But what if that they are actually past lovers because they're super old? I think that might make sense. And that's it for me. If you're still here though, and if you enjoyed this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for more content. And until next time, take care.